2023, ChatGPT dominated 82% of the global AI market, serving 200 million users monthly. Its language models set industry standards, powering businesses, education, and innovation worldwide. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how I recreated this exact edit using CapCut for PC. And yes, even if you're on CapCut Mobile, you can follow along too. The tools may be arranged differently, but the concept is exactly the same. And the best part? You don't need a powerful computer, complicated software, or any paid tools. Everything I'm about to show you is completely free, and if you stick with me till the end, you'll walk away with a fully edited viral style 3D reel just like the pros. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Brian, and I create tutorials that help you edit like a pro using tools that are free and beginner friendly like CapCut. Today, we're diving deep into creating a 3D style viral reel, the kind of content that grabs attention on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts. Before we jump into the actual edit, let me quickly give you an overview of some of the key tools we'll be using inside CapCut for PC. These tools might sound simple, but they're the secret behind every smooth transition, every eye-catching movement, and every professional-looking reel. Once you understand how they work, you'll be able to create edits that stand out even with just a few clips. Let's start with keyframes. Keyframes allow us to animate anything from zooms to text movements to smooth transitions. Think of them like start and end points. You place a keyframe where the motion begins, and another where the motion should end. CapCut automatically fills in the motion between those two points. Next is the Transform tool. When you select any clip and go to the video, tab. The transform settings let you zoom in, zoom out, rotate, reposition, or flip the clip. We'll use this to animate backgrounds, scale text, and create zoom effects. Then we have masking. Masking is how we reveal or hide specific parts of a clip. CapCut offers different mask shapes like linear, circular, and rectangle. We'll use masks to animate text reveals, background slides, and even progress style effects like circular loaders. Another important tool is the chroma key. This lets us remove a specific color from any layer, for example, removing a green background to isolate the text out Outline. We'll use this to create white outline text effects later in the video. And finally, compound clips. When we group several clips into one, that's called a compound clip. This keeps our timeline clean and allows us to animate multiple layers as a single object. We'll use compound clips throughout the video to stay organized and make animations easier to apply. Don't worry if this sounds like a lot, I'll guide you through each step as we go. Now just a quick note, I'll be doing all the edits on CapCut for PC. But if you're using CapCut Mobile, you can still follow along. Most of the tools I just mentioned are available in the mobile version too. The interface is just a little different. All right, now that we've covered the basics, let's dive into the actual editing process. We'll start by designing the scene layout first, and then later we'll move on to adding animations. We'll go step by step so that you don't miss anything. To begin with, let's start organizing our workspace. First, drag all the assets into CapCut. This includes the background image, logos, sample texts, anything we'll be using, and place them in the media bin so we can access them easily throughout the project. Next, take the reference video, the one that we want to recreate, and drag it into the timeline, but place it further ahead on the timeline, away from the start. We'll be using it for reference, but we don't want it interfering with our main edit. Now trim off the first few seconds of this reference video, we won't be editing that portion. After that, extract the audio from the reference and bring Bring the audio clip to the beginning of the timeline. This will help us sync our edits with the beat and the pacing of the original reel later on. Let's move on to the visual layout. First, drag in the background. This will serve as the base of our first scene. Then bring in the ChatGPT logo assets and position them carefully, just like I'm doing here on the screen. We want the logos to sit naturally over the background, just like they appear in the original reference. Now to make them blend better with the background, reduce their opacity. I've reduced mine down to 12%, which gives them a nice subtle look. They're there, but they're not too loud. Once you're happy with the positioning and opacity, select all the logo layers and create a compound clip. This groups them into one single layer, which makes the timeline cleaner and allows us to animate everything together later. Let's now add some text. Start by dragging in a default text layer and begin designing your text as shown. For this part, we're focusing on the Ein text, which appears early in the reel. To recreate the same clean and modern style, apply a white outline around the text. This makes it pop without filling the inside. Then, add a green fill color to the text. Now here's the trick. We're going to make the green fill disappear, leaving just the white outline. To do that, create a compound clip of the IN text layer. Then, go to the video tab and find the remove background chroma key section. Use the color picker tool to select the green fill and increase the intensity slightly until the green is removed, leaving you with a clean white outline text on a transparent background. Next, we'll prepare the 2023 text and its background. 
Duplicate the 2023 text, then remove the actual text inside the new layer and replace it with spaces so that it visually matches the width of the original 2023 text. Turn on background color for this text and choose a bold red. This is what gives that strong highlight effect behind the numbers. To match the size more precisely, turn off uniform scaling and then reduce just the height of the background so it aligns better with the text itself. When you're satisfied, create a compound clip of this red rectangle to finalize it. And just like that, we're done with the design portion of scene one. It's now time to jump into animations. Let's start animating everything we've built so far. We'll begin with the red background behind the 2023 text. Select the red background compound clip and go to the mask section. Add a horizontal mask and then scroll forward in the timeline to the point where you want the animation to end. This point should match where the beat of the music aligns or the text reveal finishes. At that end point, adjust the mask so that the red background is fully visible. Then add a soft feather to make the transition smooth and natural. Now go to the start of the animation and drag the mask in the opposite direction. This will hide the red background initially so that when it animates in, it looks like a fade in from left to right. Next let's animate the 2023 text itself. In our reference reel, the 2023 text changes font rapidly in the first few seconds, a very cool trick to give the scene a dynamic, glitchy look. To do this, use the razor tool press B to split the text every three frames at least five times. You can use the right arrow key on your keyboard to move forward precisely by frames. Once you have several short clips, go through each one and change the font to something different. Experiment with bold, italic, tall, or stylized fonts to make it visually interesting. After we've set that up, we now move on to the zoom in animation that starts this scene. Select all the layers, background, logos, text, and create a new compound clip. Scroll to the point where you want the zoom effect to end and add a transform keyframe. Then go to the beginning of the scene and scale the compound clip up slightly. This creates that zoom in effect as the scene progresses. To smoothen the zoom, press Alt plus K to open the keyframe graph and apply cubic out to the scale animation. This makes the motion start fast and slow down gently. Very smooth and professional. Next, we'll prepare for the transition into the next scene. Take the compound clip we just created and duplicate it, then drag it above in the timeline. On the upper copy, undo the compound clip so we can separate elements for the transition. This time, compound everything again, but leave out the background and chat GPT logos. Those will stay static while the rest of the scene animates out. To animate the exit transition, scroll to where you want the scene to start leaving the screen and add a transform keyframe. Move a few frames forward and then drag the entire compound clip off screen to the left. Again, don't forget to smoothen the keyframes. I personally love using Cubic Out for clean, natural animation. And there you go, we've completed scene one, both design and animation exactly like in the reference reel. In the next part, we'll jump into scene two. Make sure that you're subscribed to this channel as we continue with our edit. Our goal this year is to reach 50K subscribers. Welcome back in editing scene two of this viral 3D reel project. This scene is one of the simplest and smoothest scenes we'll be creating in this tutorial. Just like we did in scene one, we'll first design the layout and then later we'll apply the transitions and animations to bring it to life. Let's dive into the design process. Designing scene two. To start off, I'm going to make a few small adjustments in the timeline just to clean up the workspace and make it easier to focus. Once everything is neat, let's drag the chat GPT logo into the timeline. This will be the central visual of this scene. Now to give the logo a more subtle, professional look, we'll go to the adjustment tab and decrease the exposure. Lowering the exposure gives it a deeper, darker tone, which helps create visual contrast with the elements we'll be placing in front of it. Next, drag a default text layer into the timeline and change the text to chat GPT. Now let's work on the styling of the text so that it matches our reference reel. If you observe the original, you'll notice the text has a taller than normal appearance. To replicate that, turn off uniform scale and increase the height more than the width. This will stretch the text vertically, making it appear taller while keeping the horizontal scale untouched. Take a few seconds to adjust the position, font, and alignment just like I'm doing Doing here on screen. Our goal is to closely match the reference reel, so feel free to tweak until you get the perfect fit. Once that's done, change the text color to green just like we did in scene one. Now add a white stroke or outline around the text to make it stand out against the dark background. After styling is complete, create a compound clip of the text. This combines all styling into one layer so we can apply effects easily. Next, go to the Remove Background tab and click on the Color Picker tool. Pick the green color from the text and increase the intensity as needed to remove the green fill, leaving behind a clean white outline just like before. Now here's a small detail that adds a lot of polish to this scene. If you look closely at the ChatGPT logo in our reference, you'll notice it has a soft drop shadow that gives it more depth. Let's recreate that now. Start by duplicating the original logo so you now have two identical versions. Drag one of the logos slightly to the side so you can see them separately while editing. Now go to the Adjustment tab, scroll to Curves, and adjust the curves as I'm doing on screen. This gives the second logo a darker shadow-like version of the original. Once that's done, position the dark logo underneath the main logo so the original stays 
stays on top and the shadow stays below. Now to create a smooth shadow blur, go to the Effects tab, search for a blur effect, and drag it onto the dark logo layer. Once applied, increase the blur amount to 100%. This gives it a soft, diffused look. Then go back to the Adjustment tab and reduce the opacity of the shadow logo to around 32%. This makes the shadow look more realistic without overpowering the scene. And just like that, the design of Scene 2 is complete. Now let's group all the elements, the logo, the shadow, and the text outline into a single compound clip. This will make the next animation steps easier and cleaner. Green Dare animating scene 2. The first animation we're going to apply is the transition from scene 1 to scene 2. To do this properly, make sure the scene 2 clip begins exactly where scene 1 starts. Animating out. This will give us a seamless flow between scenes. Scroll forward in your timeline and locate the ending keyframe of scene 1's animation. Once you find that, select the Scene 2 compound clip and add a transform keyframe right at that same point. Then go back to the start of Scene 2. This is the same point where Scene 1 started animating out, and drag the Scene 2 clip off screen just like I'm doing here. This creates a clean entry animation where Scene 2 slides into place as Scene 1 leaves. Don't forget to smoothen the keyframes. Press Alt plus K to open the keyframe graph editor and apply Cubic Out for a polished, natural easing motion. Now we'll prepare the outro animation for Scene 2. This is the animation that transitions to Scene 3. To start listen carefully to your audio and mark the point where scene 2 should begin to animate out. Once you find that moment, add a transform keyframe at that position. Move a few frames forward and scale the compound clip down slightly. Then scroll to the blending tab and add a keyframe for opacity. Reduce the opacity all the way down to 0%. This makes the scene fade out while it's zooming out at the same time. Now go back to the first keyframe of this animation and also add a blend opacity keyframe there. This time keep the opacity at 100%. This creates a beautiful zoom and fade out animation that feels cinematic and smooth. And there you have it, Scene 2 is complete. We've successfully designed a clean, professional layout using the ChatGPT logo and text, added shadow effects for realism, and built in both entrance and exit animations using transform opacity and timing-based keyframes. In the next scene, we'll be introducing a circular progress animation with text inside it, and I'll show you exactly how to build that effect using CapCut's mask and transform tools. Let's move on to Scene 3. Designing the 82% circular progress element. If you closely observe our reference video, you'll notice a bold yellow circle showing 82% inside it. That's the first thing we're going to recreate. Let's begin by dragging a default text layer into the timeline. Replace the text with a capital letter O. Now scroll through your font options and choose a thick, bold font that makes the O look like a clean circular shape, something that closely resembles a progress ring. Play around with a few fonts until you find one that gives you a solid, bold, circular appearance, like what I have here. Next, drag in another default text layer, and this time change the text to 82%. Place the 82% text directly in the center of the O text, making sure it's properly aligned and readable. Now click on the O text layer, change its color to a bright yellow, and create a compound clip to group it as one unit. After that, copy this compound clip and paste it on a track above the original. Select the first version of the compound clip and go to the mask tool. Apply a horizontal mask and adjust it to reveal only the top half or one side of the O. Then do the exact same thing on the second copy but mask the opposite side. This will give us two halves of the circle which will animate separately. To help keep things clear visually, you can temporarily slide one of the clips to the side that way you can confirm that the mask directions don't overlap or cancel each other out. Once both halves are masked correctly, create a new compound clip that contains both of them. We're doing this because we can't apply additional masking on top of an already masked clip without combining them first. This way we retain the current masks and free up the layer for more animation. Animating the circular progress 0 to 82%. Now we'll animate the 82% loading effect. Let's start with the 0 to 50% portion of the circle. Select the new compound clip and go to the start of the timeline. Add a mask keyframe and adjust the mask so that the circle appears invisible or partially hidden. Then move ahead in the timeline to the point where you want the first half of the animation to end. Now adjust the mask so that it reveals up to 50% of the circle. Next, we'll animate the 50% to 82% portion. Make sure this part of the clip begins right after the first half finishes animating. You don't want both to animate at the same time. Click on the layer for the 50-82% part, and at its starting point, add a mask keyframe. Then move forward a few frames and adjust the mask to reveal up to 82% of the ring. To smoothen the motion, open the keyframe editor and apply cubic out to the animation path. This will give the progress bar a smooth acceleration and gentle slowdown, much more visually appealing. Now click on the 82% text and go to the animation tab. Apply a fade in animation to it so it appears gently right after the progress circle is revealed, adding the pointer and labels. If you take a look at our reference again, you'll see a line or arrow pointing downward from the circular progress bar to some text below it. To recreate create that, drag in another default text layer, and replace the text with a few hyphens or dashes. We're using this as a straight line to simulate an arrow or pointer. Now use the scale, position, and rotation tools to place the line underneath the circle 
and tilt it in the right direction, just like I'm doing on screen. Next, drag in another text layer and replace the text with global AI market. Style it so that the word AI market is colored bright red, while global can remain white or gray. This creates contrast and makes the message more powerful. Make final position adjustments for the line pointer and text so that everything looks cohesive. Once you're happy with the layout, create a compound clip of the line and both text elements to keep the timeline organized. Green Dare Scene 3 Entrance Animation To animate this scene into the video, drag the circular progress group into the timeline and position it right where Scene 2 starts animating out. This will give the illusion of a seamless transition. To speed up the circular animation, simply bring the animation keyframes closer together. This will make the loading effect happen faster. Now locate where Scene 2 finishes animating out. At that point, select the Scene 3 compound clip and add a transform keyframe and a blend opacity keyframe. Then go back to the start of Scene 3 and scale the clip down slightly. Reduce its opacity to zero, so it starts hidden and small, then grows and fades in together. This creates a zoom plus fade in effect that blends beautifully with the previous scene, animating the pointer and text reveal. Now let's add mask animation to the pointer line. At the start, apply a mask keyframe to hide the line. Then at the end of the animation, apply another mask keyframe to reveal the line completely, simulating it being drawn in or sliding down. Finally, apply a fade in animation to the global AI market text keeping everything smooth and elegant. Once that's done, select the text and line together and create a compound clip to tidy up the layers, creating scene exit. First, drag in a new default text layer and press Windows plus period key on your keyboard to open the emoji picker. From here, choose the white solid dot emoji. This will serve as our transition layer. Increase the font size and scale it up massively until it covers most of the screen. Now create a compound clip of this dot so we can animate it cleanly. Go to the point where you want the transition to end and add a mask keyframe using a circular mask. Adjust the mask to reveal the full white dot, essentially filling the screen with white. Then go back to the start of the dot layer and add another mask keyframe this time shrinking the mask so that the white is invisible at the start. When you play it back, this creates a smooth circular wipe transition that leads us right into the next scene. And that wraps up scene three. We've created a clean animated 82% progress ring, designed a visual story around AI market data, and transitioned out with a cinematic white reveal, all inside CapCut, using free tools and smart layering. Let's jump into scene four next, where we'll explore more data-driven visuals and advanced transitions.